for a while now, I've uh, had a conventional hard drive in my main rig, and uh, I've decided to uh, purchase a new copy of Windows 10 due to the fact that uh, I missed the period where uh, the free upgrade was available for Windows 7 users, and uh, I went out to get the uh, Samsung 850 EVO, the 500 gigabyte version, um, due to the fact that in my main um, rig I've had a conventional hard drive for the longest time and after owning a MacBook and using that as my primary machine um, it's kind of impossible to go back uh, to hard drive speeds due to the fact that they're abysmal compared to solid state storage. So uh, this is my unboxing of the Samsung 850 EVO. Bring out the uh, trusty uh, Swiss knife. Uh, let's crack this open. Uh, so these generally have great reviews online. Samsung is known to have reliable drives across the board. And uh, yeah, let's hope that the performance the performance boost is as great as advertised. So, um, nice package, relatively clean. Um, that's everything in the box, there's nothing else. Um, a warranty, installation guide, CD. So, this is it. It's hilariously small almost. Just for a general sense of scale, this is a uh, gift card. The, it's barely bigger than the card. So, uh, yeah, that's actually it's rather amazing. This is the old hard drive, the Caviar Black Western Digital. Back in the day, these were dope, but uh, now hard drives are a thing of the past. Well, at least now you can get drives for like super cheap. You can get like one terabyte for like 17 bucks. Also, to highlight the enormous size difference, it's only half the storage capacity, but I'd say like one a quarter is thick and not even close to the same area. Here's the uh, solid state drive installed. Uh, so uh, yeah, I just made it like sit there. It doesn't even move, so that's uh, that's probably not a problem, I guess. So time to install Windows 10, and probably Ubuntu right after. Okay, thankfully it worked. For a second I was worried that it wasn't gonna boot. Okay, um, so it's the following day now, and the SSD is running at almost the performance that it should be compared to benchmarks that I've seen like online. Just uh, not quite there yet. The, the benchmarks were actually a lot worse than what you see right now um, because of the fact that I actually was using the SATA 3 gigabit per second ports originally, and uh, then I looked up the manual for my motherboard online, and I found, uh, I found out which ports are the 6 gigabit per second ports. Um, so just that switch alone almost doubled my performance in some aspects. I also did a benchmark with Crystal Disk Mark, which I could probably do right now again um, to just show more results. Um, it's still not where it should be um, in terms of performance, but it's getting closer. And I'm trying to find out if there are ways to better optimize uh, the solid state drive if there are any settings or whatnot to do uh, to increase performance. Um, it's almost where it should be, so that's not too bad. But uh, let's see if we can get these speeds to be even faster. Also, another factor to take into consideration is the fact that I have a fairly old rig. Um, I'm running an i7-2600K, um, not overclocked whatsoever, a GTX 570. And... Uh, I only have, I think, two 4 gigabyte uh, RAM sticks. Uh, I have a total of 8 gigs of RAM, so 
And uh, yeah, things seem pretty good. Also, if the video looks a little bit out of focus, it's because I'm intentionally doing that or else there's gonna be like insane um, moiré patterns like this uh, when I focus on the screen perfectly. So yeah, that's just uh, to compensate for that. But yeah, so this is what I have so far and let's see what we can do. Okay, now I'm back after tinkering with the BIOS and whatnot, uh, finally got AHCI to work. When I switched from IDE to AHCI in the, uh, in the BIOS, what uh, was happening was uh, my system refused to boot and there was an uh, error screen that kept popping up uh, from Windows. Um, but there was like a command prompt, like uh, workaround someone online found. Now let's see if the benchmarks have improved uh, significantly. So here's the AS SSD. Let's go. So that seems to be like a mild improvement, finally hitting 500 megabytes per second. Um, in the read speeds, the 4K speeds seem to be improved. Um, the uh, yeah it seems to be comparable to all the benchmarks online so it turns out that the solution is to switch from your SATA 3 gigabit per second port to your SATA 6 gigabit per second port and that seems to be a big improvement and to switch from IDE to AHCI these two seem to be the main factors and um, yeah after you do that you will get the speeds that uh, the manufacturer originally advertises and uh, seems pretty good. Performance seems uh, relatively great. Nothing to complain about. Um, I'll just uh, I'll just let this run and come back when it's done. Okay, so I restarted my uh, machine and I ran all the tests again. Uh, the results seem to be really, really good, almost exactly what uh, most benchmarks show. But uh, yeah, those are uh, these are my results for my SSD, and uh, yeah, the Samsung uh, 850 Evo seems to be a fantastic product. It's uh, functioning as advertised. Um, in some cases, even slightly better in terms of the sequential read speeds. Um, it seems. One additional test that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shut down Windows, uh, shut down, and uh, I'm going to time the startup time uh, and see how long it takes to boot from uh, the machine being completely off. Um, I can see the fan uh, slowing down as it spins. So here's my timer and I'm going to try and press the on switch and the timer at the same time. Three, two, one. Alright. Ten seconds have passed. Let's see how long this takes. So that's about 23.72 seconds, which is uh, pretty reasonable. Um, it's actually not as fast as I hoped, but uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. If anyone has any uh, tips or anything on how to get uh, Windows 10 to boot any faster, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.